What's going on guys, Lucky Lex 360 here, back with Owl Park Baseball 23 Miami Marlins franchise. Continuing right at the All-Star break in the 2023 season, currently we are 58-30, and 30, and uh, we are just going to continue on here to the trade deadline, and hopefully we can hold on to first place, and we might make some moves. So, I think the biggest thing we need to work on, well, I mean, we could just really use a little bit of help everywhere, honestly. Uh, Trevor Rogers is out for four to five months, so there you go. Good thing we got Max Scherzer because now Scherzer fits nicely right in that rotation. And he's actually pitching good. Um, he has six uh, appearances, one start, 12 innings, uh, 142 ERA, so he's doing well for us there. We're going to call up this guy. So we have our two uh, international free agent guys that we signed up. And so far, Hawan is not doing too well in three appearances. We'll see how... Takuchi does um, but I think this team just needs a boost maybe in center field Gavin Lux isn't really putting up good numbers and then maybe another bullpen arm so let's see what is out there we are going to look at the trading block we need an outfielder and it looks like Shohei Otani is obviously the top, although he doesn't really play outfield. He's mostly a DH. Jesse Winkler. Now, I did look into trading for Otani, and I saw that, you know, if we threw in Bauer and we threw in Jimenez and a bunch of these other guys, we could get Otani, but that's a high price to pay for Otani. So I think we'll wait on that. Especially, I mean, I would do it if he was locked in, but he's only signed through this year. So he's going to be a free agent. So again, that's that's really a lot. Jesse Winker, um, I don't know. He's 29. Again, he's a free agent. I don't know if I want a rental. Mitch Hanniger has an additional year. And boy, Hanniger has a lot of power. I mean, he hasn't really showed it since we started this franchise. But coming off 2021 with 39 home runs got a lot of power he is 32 though mark Kana is 34 garcia ian hap ian hap might be an interesting move although he is a free agent as well forgot about max monty mitch hanniger or winker let's try for winker let's see what we can get for him we can trade cavico i really like cavico but for winker it makes sense let's see if we can uh, have them pay for any of it it's like we can so we get winker for free and we're trading cavico so that will boost our uh outfield offensively so that's pretty good let's see in terms of bullpen who is out there let's take a look at the relievers right now liam hendricks is available ken giles Alvarez, Boxberger, Clevenger. Interesting. I wonder what it would take to get Hendricks. Way too much. RJ Alvarez. Alvarez has pitched well. I don't know why he's in the minor leagues. He might be a cheap acquisition, though. He might be worth trying to get. Oh, yeah, for a half-star guy? Yeah, that's an easy pickup. No-brainer right there. 100%? Yep. Sweet. Okay, RJ Alvarez is now part of our team. So I think that will be good, honestly. Gavin Lux has been a disappointment. So we're going to send him down. We're optioning Gavin Lux. Jesse Winker is on the team. And then in terms of pitching, Fishman has been bad. So we'll send down Jake Fishman. And we'll bring RJ Alvarez onto the team. Oh, we're out of 40-man uh, space. Brian Miller, four to five weeks. Can we... Put him on the 60-day. Uh, if we transfer him to the 60-day, it removes him from the 40-man roster. 
so we'll get that spot without actually having to put anybody on waivers, which is super nice. So Alvarez will go into middle relief. We'll make Takuchi our lefty specialist. And then in terms of our lineup, <laughs> uh, I guess Winker will play center field. That's terrible defensively, but I don't know. I mean, what else are we going to do, really? Uh, we'll put Winker 5th, Martinez 6th, Escobar 8th. I think that will work out. That's probably the best offensive lineup that we could put together right now. So that is how the team is looking here. And it wasn't quite the trade deadline. It's July 24th, but that's okay. Gives us more time just in case there's injuries. So currently we are 60 and 34 in first place, uh, gaining ground, which is good. John Curtis, Antonio Gomez, and Serrano. For Mesa. You know what? We don't really need Mesa. I'm going to accept that, actually. We'll take that deal. That's not a bad deal. I could have probably got more, but... You know what? We have an extra bullpen arm. We're just going to leave him at the... Uh, designated for assignment area for now. And then we'll call him up as need be. Scherzer's out for one week. He's been pitching really well for us. We'll put him on the 15-day DL just to get him some rest. And Jared Kelnick was a disappointment. Ruff Rufford was bad. Rufford didn't really do anything. So we're going to DFA him real quick. Get him off the 40-man. We'll bring John Curtis on. Put him in middle relief. And we'll put Edward Cabrera in the rotation for now. And give him a couple starts. Now, if you remember, he got 15 starts last year. He was really bad. But in the bullpen this year, he's been actually pretty good. So we're going to give him a few starts and see what he can do for us while Scherzer is down. We got a trade proposal from the Tigers. Bracco for Andrews. Again, that's not a bad deal. I, I mean, I could use the bullpen arms. So we'll take it. All right, that will do it for this episode of the Miami Marlins franchise. Be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any suggestions, and I will see you guys for the next one.